The Pakistan Air Force is reportedly working with Chinese partners to develop a significantly upgraded version of its JF-17 fighter jet, known as the JF-17 PFX. The JF-17 Thunder or FC-1 Sialong is a lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat aircraft developed jointly by the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and Chengdu Aircraft Corporation of China. 58% of the JF-17 airframe including its front fuselage. Wings and vertical stabilizer is produced in Pakistan, whereas 42% is produced in China, with the final assembly and serial production taking place in Pakistan. In 2017, Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and Chengdu Aircraft Corporation of China began developing a dual-seat variant known as the JF-17B for enhanced operational capability, conversion training, and lead in fighter training. The JF-17B Block II variant went into serial production at Pakistan Aeronautical Complex in 2018 and 26 aircraft were delivered to the Pakistani Air Force by December 2020. In December 2020, Pakistan Aeronautical Complex began serial production of a more advanced Block III version of the aircraft with an active electronically scanned array radar. The Pakistani Air Force is said to be collaborating with its Chinese partners to enhance its JF-17 fighter jet, creating an advanced version, named the JF-17 PFX. Recent information indicates this upgraded model may be notably bigger than the existing JF-17 possibly weighing as much as India's Tekus Mk2, estimated at approximately 17.5 tons. The abbreviation, PFX appears to stand for Pakistan Fighter Experimental. According to a Pakistani Air Force press release, the JF-17 PFX forms a key component of the Pakistani Air Force's broader modernization plan for the future. The increase in size and weight of the JF-17 PFX would place it in a different weight category compared to the current JF-17 and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's Tekus Mk-1A, both of which have maximum takeoff weights of around 13,500 kg. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited's Tekus Mk-2 represents a significant advancement in capabilities compared to its predecessor and there is speculation that the JF-17 PFX could undergo similar enhancement. While the Pakistani Air Force has not officially disclosed the specifics of the JF-17 PFX program, this development indicates its dedication to advancing the JF-17 platform further. If the project delivers the anticipated capabilities, it could usher in a new era for the JF-17 potentially aligning it with other advanced fighter jets in the region and enabling Pakistan to counter India's forthcoming Tekus Mk-2. Pakistan produces the JF-17 Thunder fighter jet in collaboration with China. The JF-17 is manufactured at the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex in Kamra, Pakistan. As of now, Pakistan is producing two variants of the JF-17 Thunder fighter jet, which are the Block 1 and Block 2 versions. The JF-17 aircraft is said to have an airframe life of 3,000 hours. The JF-17 could last 15 to 20 years. The initial Block 1s are expected to turn 20 by 2030, possibly reaching the end of their operational lives. The introduction of the JF-17 PFX may serve as the initial move in addressing the end-of-life challenges faced by the JF-17. To begin with, a comprehensive strategy could be developed to enhance the older JF-17s in the Pakistani Air Force, specifically the Block 1s and Block 2s. This plan would focus on prolonging the aircraft's lifespan and improving its overall capabilities. Initially, the Pakistani Air Force could prioritize the internal integration of sensors, electronics and weapons systems within the country. The current promotional material indicates that the JF-17 PFX could pave the way for a new upgrade path for the JF-17, or signal a transition towards full in-house production of the JF-17 at the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex or PAC. The Pakistan Aeronautical Complex currently manufactures 58% of the JF-17's airframe, with the remaining 42% supplied by Aviation Industry Corporation of China AVIC, a well-known aerospace and defense company. However, the future viability of the JF-17 PFX depends on the Pakistani Air Force's capacity to achieve complete fighter production at the PAC.
If AVIC discontinues production, the Pakistani Air Force may encounter challenges in maintaining the JF-17's life cycle or creating new aircraft due to a shortage of crucial resources. The Pakistani Air Force could potentially face difficulties in sustaining its existing fleet if it loses access to specific spare parts from AVIC. AVIC may not be very keen on continuing with the JF-17 program, especially considering they already have the high-performance J-10C fighter in their portfolio. Therefore, there is a possibility that the Pakistan Air Force will take over the JF-17 program from AVIC. AVIC may not be significantly impacted as the Pakistani Air Force intends to purchase J-10C and J-31 for its needs. Additionally, the JF-17 caters to specific requirements, so it is improbable that it would compete with AVIC's export initiatives. For the JF-17 PFX to be a sustainable solution, the PAC must undertake full-scale production of the JF-17. While this may involve significant costs, it would be more cost-effective than transitioning to an entirely new fighter design. This approach would prolong the use of current facilities and tap into existing knowledge and skills. The Pakistani Air Force's efforts to enhance its understanding of the JF-17 to enable full customization indicate that turnkey production is being considered. This would lead to a genuine made-in-Pakistan JF-17, free from reliance on AVIC and offering extensive options for configuration and customization. The JF-17 PFX would not only offer the Pakistani Air Force a cost-effective fighter that can be procured in large numbers to replace the older JF-17s but also enable complete control over marketing and export of the aircraft. While Pakistan's financial and industrial limitations may pose challenges, the primary focus would be on utilizing the fighter rather than selling it to other countries. The Pakistani Air Force should aim to have a self-sufficient fighter aircraft that can be relied upon instead of depending upon imports. Adopting a turnkey approach to the JF-17 PFX could lay the groundwork for Pakistan to enhance its aerospace capabilities. By taking full ownership of the JF-17 design, the Pakistani Air Force, through the PAC and National Aerospace Science and Technology Park, can develop a comprehensive understanding of the aircraft and initiate further advancement programs. Potential initiatives may involve expanding the design, utilizing more composite materials, creating essential components, such as a flight control system, and upgrading the turbofan engine. The insights acquired from these efforts could be utilized in future to design and produce an authentic made-in-Pakistan, next-generation fighter aircraft.